What's up, guys? Welcome back. I'm here with the wonderful Ashley Rogers one more time. We got this one and we got one more to go. Part four of the SharePoint HTTP connector. Ashley, what is, what's our method today that we're covering? Today, we're going to do delete. We're going to be removing some items. Oh, a dangerous one to yes. teach people. <laughs> <laughs> so with great power comes great responsibility. Just know that we are giving you this knowledge not to abuse, but to use properly. All right, so you guys at this point are probably familiar with Ashley. If you've been following along, she has been teaching us this HTTP structure for a few weeks now. And so Ashley, I'm gonna go ahead, and let you do an introduction of yourself, bring up your material and then take it away, my friend. Okay, awesome. There we go. Okay. Hi, guys. Um, so if you've been following along on the series so far, we've done three other videos um, using uh, SharePoint and HTTP uh, actions and methods. Um, I'm Ashley Rogers. I'm a senior SharePoint consultant and developer. I do blogging. I do speaking, all that good stuff. Uh, and you can follow me on Twitter at Ash Rogers. So today's method is delete. So let's go ahead and review a little bit of what we've done before. Um, so again, as if you've been following along, we've been using SharePoint as our data source. We've been working with one particular list. It's the flow testing list. Uh, and we've done some other HTTP verbs. So we've done get to get some items. We've done post to create some items. And then we've done patch to update those items. So today we are going to be deleting those items. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, and then a real world example of how you can actually uh, use this in a case that actually makes sense. Um, and, so uh, real quick, just if you guys haven't followed along to this point, Go ahead and check the description. We have links down there for her blog, her Twitter, and then also where you can check out the previous episodes of this series. All right, yeah, awesome. Definitely go check those out if you're tuning in for the first time. Um, so again, we're gonna be talking to SharePoint's RESTful endpoint. So we've gone over this a couple of times, but again, if you're, if you're new to it, we're thinking about the URL here. So there's a lot of explanation in the other videos. And again, you can go check those out. So we're not gonna do a ton of, of that today. We're gonna go jump straight into what you can do with delete, which cool. is delete. <laughs> so this aggressive slide is here to show you guys that really all we're doing here is removing items. So when we send over the delete um, to a resource, we're asking to remove items. We're, we're um, removing them completely, right? This is not an update. This is not something that you can get back. Um, and so once you actually decide to delete something, it's gone. So full disclosure, I don't use wah, this a wah, lot. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big red alarm. Make sure you yes. listen to what she just said. <laughs> Things cannot be given back. This is final. This is this is it. So just again, I know where I'm pressing on this. She's pressing on this. There's a big red thing on the screen. Just definitely know this will remove things forever. Yes, right. So the reason we're stressing this is not necessarily because we don't think you guys understand it. It's because when you're testing and you're using this and you're trying to learn, please do not test this against production data. Um, so when you're doing a delete, um, just know that you want to make sure, verify that you're using it against your development or QA environment where it is safe to do that. Do not you know, run delete inside of an apply to each in Power Automate. So there's fair <laughs> <Yeah>. warning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Awesome. We're good now. Yeah. I think they understand the gravity. Yeah. Let's, let's go. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, just a quick review because this is the way that you're going to be using this. Um, so this is going to be the end of your URL. You'll recognize this if it's something that you've been um, if you've been tuning in and looking to see what we what we're doing. So you'll see here that it's lists get by title and then our list name, which of course has been our flow testing list and then forward slash items, forward slash, and then the item ID. So at the core of what we're doing here to send over a delete, um, that is we send over the ID itself. Um, and so I'll show you guys that in the actual action there, but we're specifying the item here and indicating the list name and then asking for the items, the, the item back. So this is something that you'll be familiar with. It's we're working with this the same way we did with updating items. Um, but, you know, and you'll see in my second example here how we do this with dynamic 
website content with actual um, real world data, but really at the heart of it, what we're sending back is the ID. Awesome. So let's do this. Do it. All righty. So let's switch over. Um, so here I've got for you, as it, has, as it has been, the manually triggered flow. Nothing in this one, no input right now, just so that I can run it. And then we have our HTTP request to SharePoint action here. And uh, you'll be familiar with, you know, we're just putting in our site address. This time we're using the method delete. Again, we've got everything here, but we're using delete today. And then the URI is what I indicated before. We've got our underscore API. And then at the end here, I'm indicating which item I would like to delete. Now, the only uh, difference here is in the headers. I just want to put in this if match and then my asterisk. You may recall from doing the patch that this is indicating, um, basically this is a catch all for e tags. So what the resource is looking for is to see which uh, item this actually is, which state it's actually in, and that's indicated by the e tag. So I have to throw in here the if match because it knows that we're actually changing something. So even though we're not updating, a delete is still a change. So we're looking for an e tag placeholder. All right, so Thank let's you. let's pop over to our flow testing list. And I just want to call out that the ID I'm using here is of this last item here, my new item two with a color of green and the ID is 16. So I'm just verifying that that is something that's here. If it wasn't here, if I had already deleted it, my flow is going to fail. So that's yep. good to know. Okay. Let's pop over here and we're just going to save. We're going to go ahead and run it. We're going to delete it. Double save. Double save, always. <laughs> <laughs> Never not save. Um, OK, cool. Right. So um, as usual, we get a whole bunch of information back. Um, we get to verify the URI that was used. I know that 16 was there. You can see the headers. And of course, we get a status code of 200 indicating success. And if we pop back over to the flow testing list, even without refreshing that, that item with the ID of 16, that's gone. So awesome. success. We've done it. Awesome. Cool. Um, okay. So. Yeah, so you might be wondering, why would I ever do this? <laughs> I was actually going to ask. I was going to say, yeah, so like, what's a good real-world example now for someone who's at home now understands how this is done? Like, Why might they want to delete items out of a list? Yeah, so really, uh, the reason you would want to is sort of like list management. So maybe you've got some things in um, a SharePoint list, and you're, what you're trying to do is gain some information back from maybe a form. Uh, maybe somebody's trying to manage a contact list and maybe uh, bring items out of there that are from last year or anybody who's been terminated and they're trying to refresh the list. So if you think about this as far as like a list management type of situation, uh, this is where you might want to bring in that delete. Um, so what I have for you here in my second example is again a manually triggered flow and you could think of this as maybe I've put a form on top of this, maybe I put a power app on top of this, but for us we've just got some input. Um, so you might remember that we're working with colors in the list. So what I've done is created a drop down that when you start this flow you're going to be able to choose which color you want to delete. And then based on that, we're actually combining get and delete here. So okay. I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in as my, you know, in my manual trigger, pick a color. And then I'm going to do a get against this list. So okay. I'm still using the flow testing list. And I'm yep. throwing you guys a bit of a curveball here. You might recall that I had talked about this dollar sign filter uh, way back in the get video and saying, okay, well, we won't really go over that. But here's a case where I actually want to use that. Okay. And throwing in a filter where color is equal to the color that was picked up here. Got so it. you'll see that you're getting back everything and then automatically filtering. So if you're used to using the other out of the box SharePoint actions, you might recall that there's a place there for filter, there's yep. a place there for OData and all that. So this is what this looks like all combined together and not broken out. Got it. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So we're doing a get. And then we're going to parse what comes back in our parse JSON. And then for each thing that comes back, for each call, each um, item that has that color that I pick, I'm then going to remove that. So you can think 
about this again as maybe you're cleaning out a list and saying, okay, based on this parameter, based on these people or a date, I'm going to clean out all of that data and start fresh. So that's kind of where we're going here. So yeah, we'll I think color. even okay. like a practical example I could think of right away is like maybe something pending, right? You could have something sitting in a list in a pending status. And then as soon as it's no longer in a pending status, you might want it to then live in a different list. And then you no longer want those items to then be over here. And so once they're moved, then we want to go back and do that cleanup, right? That's exactly right. Yep. Cool. Yep. Cool. Definitely. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so let's go over here. And I'm just going to think about this. I want to pick just one item. Um, so I don't want to delete everything that's red. Let's pick pink. Okay. So we'll go ahead and test on the action. I picked red. <laughs> I oh. ran right past that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we're going to see two things that got removed, right? So okay. that's actually a great demonstration. I did not pick <laughs> pink. <laughs> so see how important it is now to make sure the delete, the delete is strong. <laughs> that's why I wanted to show you not to do that. <laughs> but hey, we've got success, right? So let's come over here and of course, my items with red were removed. So we're left with blue, yellow, and pink. So awesome. Awesome. There you go. That's, see, that was perfect. <laughs> we, we stressed it very hard and then also gave you an example of how it can work. <laughs> exactly. So don't do that in production. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, cool. All right. So um, so that's it for delete. It's very straightforward. Um, showed you what to do, what not to do, and how to use it um, using some dynamic data. Awesome. And if you guys want to get up to date, if this was your first video in the series and you want to get up to date on how this all worked out and look at the URL structures and see all the information that led here, make sure to go ahead and check out the list below so you can find those previous videos. Ashley, thank you very much once again for coming and joining me. It's always such a pleasure. I love how efficiently and quickly and precisely you can teach these concept things. I, it's great. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. Awesome. All right, guys, you know what to do. Click like, click subscribe, go follow Ashley on all the things. Much love from me. We'll see you in the next one.